Hello my crafty friends, this is Monica from Also Petit. In the previous video I showed you how to draft your own pattern for the elasticated pocket and in this tutorial I will show you how to sew it. So let's get started. To make the elasticated pocket you will need to cut one pocket trim from your external fabric, one pocket from your external fabric and your lining fabric. You will also need an elastic of your choice and a hand needle and a strong thread will be very useful today. To start, take your pocket trim and with the wrong sides together, we're going to fold it in half along the longer edges, just like that, and then you can just press it flat. To make my fabric waterproof, I coated the fabric with OD coat. So to protect my iron, I'm going to use the Teflon sheet. If you don't have a strong thread, double or triple the amount of a thread. So when you pull on it, it won't break. Then you're going to take your elastic and we're going to base the thread at the end of our elastic and tie a knot to secure it at the end. Now you're going to open your pocket trim and place the elastic inside. You're going to place the top edge of your elastic at the crease. So you have the fold that you made. You're going to place the elastic against that fold and align the edge of the elastic without the thread along the edge of your fabric. Then fold the pocket trim in half, sandwiching the elastic and you can clip the edges together. Here we go, just like that. Make sure your thread tail is longer than your actual piece, so you have enough to grip it and pull on it later on. Now you're going to take this to the machine. We're going to base that short end where the elastic is attached, and then we're going to base that longer edge. Don't do anything to the opposite side. When you have this ready, take the external pocket and place the pocket trim on top and line it up along the top edge and clip that in place. Here we go. If you want, you can take this to the machine and baste those two pieces together. Alternatively, take your lining piece and place it with right side facing each other on top. So right side of your pocket pieces are facing each other and you have the pocket trim between those two main pieces. You're going to line it up and then you can just move the clips to hold everything together. Here we go, just like that. Make sure you keep your thread tail secure so you don't stitch over it. And then you're going to take this to the machine and we're going to sew the seam using one centimeter seam allowance. Now you can flip those two pieces away from the pocket trim and press that seam flat. I like to do that in two stages. So I will separate those two pieces first, press the seam allowance towards one side, and then I can just flip it over like this and press it flat again. When you are ready, you're going to take this to the machine and we're going to top stitch along that finished seam and then you can base the remaining three sides. When you have your pocket basted, you're going to fold it in half and mark a midpoint along the bottom edge. Here we go, just like that. Then you're going to pull on the thread tail to bring the elastic towards the end of your pocket trim. When you've got that, you're going to align it at the edge of the fabric and then you can just paste the edges together. So imagine this is a side panel of my backpack. Make sure you mark the midpoint along the bottom edge 
then you're going to place your pocket on top match those midpoints just like that and you can clip them together then you're going to line up your side edges to finish off the pocket we're going to do the inverted box split so to start you can pinch the excess fabric so you can pinch the excess make a fold and bring that folded edge towards the center of your pocket just like that then you can clip that in place and now repeat that on the other side so again you can pinch the excess fabric and bring that fold towards the center so both of your folded edges are meeting exactly in the center here we go so I will show you from this angle how it looks like so this is our side panel and we made a little pleat like this and those two folded edges are meeting exactly in the center of our pocket. So the last thing it would be to base those three sides together. But since I'm making those pockets on a McFly backpack and the assembly is a little bit different, I will show you how it looks like on a finished backpack. Okay, so this is how it should look like on your McFly backpack um, once you attach your elasticated pockets so once you've got all that you can uh, finish your project see you next time stay crafty friends